Vitaio, today let's talk about PressKit and Cloud folder for your independent project for film festival distribution. So, why do you need PressKit and what is it about? PressKit is for press, so this is a communication from film festival to a um, different kind of media to promote your movie and promote the festival. So, the press kit you need for two reasons. First reason is to save your time in the future, not to answer in repetitive questions from film festivals. And second reason to save uh, time for film festivals, not to ask stupid and repetitive questions to uh, filmmakers. Pretty enough, you just spend a couple of days for your press kit and then you are uh, free to go and uh, distribute your movie and the help festivals to do it. So, what you need to understand about the press kit in general, the information that festival needs to make a post in social media, put uh, information to their website and uh, put information to their brochures uh, during the film festivals when it happens. Given that, you need to put in press kit all this essential information that you have about your movie, about yourself, stills from the movie uh, and uh, some extra additional information to cover all these uh, uh, things that film festival can do with your movie. And now I want to share with you my press kit that I did after days of research, the best short films that uh, happened to be in the biggest film festivals. I combined them, took essential information and end up with this uh, template for press kit. So, let's do it. So, this is a press kit for my short dark comedy Crab Girl that I did in 2017. Uh, and uh, let's look at uh, this uh, file in PDF. Also, you can do it in uh, Word format, doesn't matter, but I did it in PDF. Uh, originally, I did it in InDesign. Of course, you can use any software that you like. Uh, and the first page is usually just a poster page, maybe with uh, some laurels and uh, awards. So this is a widen up poster that is, of course, originally in A1 format. First page is uh, immediately technical specification. So you need to put essential information, year, gender, uh, duration, uh, restriction. If you have some this error plus you, well, you check yourself, uh, count, uh, country of origin, uh, premiere where it, uh, it happened or will happen or no, if, if it's not happened yet, just say not premiered yet. A language in which uh, characters speak or maybe also you can add subtitles language that you have. Uh, location where it was done, it's not necessary but you can put. Uh, format, um, uh, ratio, budget that you spend overall for, for your movie, your, your movie budget. Uh, you can add which camera you used. Uh, next one is uh, uh, synopsis and logline. Uh, you, you can see I put one logline that I have, uh, short synopsis and expanded synopsis. Uh, so they can decide which, uh, which one to put on the, their social media. So probably if they do post on Facebook, they would put short synopsis. If they, if they make in the brochure to print uh, your movie, they will can add if there is a space expanded synopsis. Uh, so it's uh, very nice to give them these options. Then go in director statements and you, you see there is a backstage uh, photos uh, from the shooting. Uh, and director statements is uh, basically why you did this movie, uh, what did you want to say with this movie, how it uh, comes idea, basically what, whatever you want to say uh, for the public audience. Then uh, uh, it must be director's bio uh, or let's say author's bio. Uh, who you are, what, what's your background, maybe not too much to, to write, so they can put it again to brochure or to media posts, like essential information for uh, several sentences, yeah, you decide here. Next one is uh, frequently asked questions. Uh, so, of course, you ask yourself the questions that you think that the journalist could ask you about the movie and you answer yourself. So basically this needed, uh, if they put questions for some reason in their website or they need some information, uh, um, extra information, you, you you don't answer them again and again and again to each festival. So there is a 10 essential, 10 essential uh, questions, answer them and they will find all answers about the movie there. Uh, then I you can edit, you can not edit, it's not 
obligatory, but just to, just I think it's nice to to make. Uh, so your um, cast and crew, uh, some uh, you can see from a cast. I ask their opinion about the movie, what they think about the movie. Uh, crew, uh, I did uh, their um, uh, background and then information information about them, so they can uh, you know be promoted as well. Uh, and uh, it was like a main, main crew and cast, and then all the cast and crew with links to their IMDb. Uh, why it's needed? Uh, because you can, for example, win uh, best sound director, so they can have a link, or best uh, art department, best script, uh, and uh, the festival will already know where is this person and where is their IMDb link to them, to their connections. And then some pictures to make... Uh, uh, good looking press kit. Uh, so this picture is stills from the movie. Uh, and here, last page, and this is very, very important. Uh, so here must be, uh, there is my contacts and uh, uh, link to photos. And this is uh, very important because press kit, like here is your text information, but uh, going to link to photos, this is uh, like a something that festival communication manager can download the original size of the files and uh, publish it or print it. And uh, you can see, basically, there is all photos that uh, was mentioned before. This is a backstage photos, uh, director's photos, uh, uh, poster in different formats. Uh, um, you see small, big, uh, original you can put so they can do whatever they want, like a with laureals, without laureals. Uh, so they can uh, options and uh, screenshots, but uh, I named it wrongly. It should be stills here, still. And yeah, this is essential information that you need to have in your press kit. Of course, feel free to add something more if you want or need your project uh, can say. Uh, but this is the thing that festivals can need from you. This uh, was the episode about press kit and uh, if you like it, like it. Subscribe and uh, write in the comments if I miss something and uh, you think that press kit uh, need to have more. See you next week.